what you've asked well, for all these fun. years. Oh, okay. and, and, and you've got that. Now. Okay, yeah, that's great. That. So, so then we can dispense with the five percent. Uh, well, I, I um, what do we call that? The franchise fee. I still like. included the franchise fee component yeah. because this is just the general fund services. So if they were cut off from the city and they had to hire accountants and investors and and administration and whatever, mm -hmm. IT, whatever, that's their portion of general fund services. This only pays. This GF cost allocation only pays for the cost general of services, services that are being provided to those entities. Now, the stuff that's down here. This is over and above, so this is this is what you know. The, you know the Chief point internal management. services. Exactly. Yes. yes. Those is, are the internal services: building maintenance, IT, risk services, utility billing. Yeah. And the 39101, which is electric fund transfer, that transfers the funds from their fund to our fund Five over percent. and above. Right. Those costs. Now that we're all. And that's on. the franchise fee because that's what we charge our cable, our water, our, our it, not water, absolutely. cable, and whoever else we have franchise agreements yeah, with. That's, that's what yeah. we did when we were when they were a separate entity. Now they're no longer a separate entity. We manage their budget. They're still a separate fund. They're a separate fund. Yeah. Right. You could still keep I mean, the money. Though. Do we get franchise fees from any other? You can if you want, but we don't okay, currently. Then why do we get it from the electric? You're getting general. I mean, I get it. Why we do whatever it you want to do. It's a policy decision. Well, I mean, there's there's no reason to transfer. Now, well, what I will say though is I still see three million dollars in the uh, electric fund. Ba yeah. Yeah, electric utility fund balance. And that's what's for um, the direction of their board and their policy. Okay, I, and, and I on, on top of that, we've got a, we're currently searching for a utility director that's going to run all three utilities. There's going to be a public utility board or commission that's going to work with them, them also uh, to, uh -huh. uh, to consider another change uh, prior to letting a new director get seated and, and try and affect some, some, some positive changes. This may come out of the, the, the budget that we try and put together next year. Mm -hmm. and, and the electric fund has already always paid a franchise fee. But, but yeah. Even before they were even, separate. Even before the, the EUB mm -hmm. and Gardner Energy being separate. And there's, there's actually a KMU um, or that's KMEA, right. one of those two that has a policy that's got four different components and there's opportunity and investment and there's all these pieces and parts that you can charge Per their, per their directive, not even. Uh, you can do whatever you want. It's all policy decisions. I know, but the problem I'm having with this is that you did exactly what I asked. You know, three yes, years ago, right. cost accounting. We we know exactly. We hire someone that's to do that's it. How a business would do it, right? Yes, sir. So, but now you've got this slush fund of five hundred thousand. Is it five hundred? Is that what I read? Uh, what are we talking? For about? the electric utility franchise fee. In other words, you you fix the problem, which is now we know exactly. You know, we have an, uh, an allocated amount of money that each um, enterprise fund, or, you know, each utility uses. But now we still have this this legacy, you know, cost that's that's still coming back to us, well, but it's not necessary. Well, well, and if that's the case, then I mean, we already know what the costs are. So <laughs> let's get rid of that just right now, tonight. Let's get rid of that that amount and. Let's deal in a cost accounting method, which we've already agreed is the best way to Larry, do it. Larry, if you're doing that, then you're, then you're, you're 700 decreasing some thousand short. revenues. Oh, yep. well, we're decreasing the revenues from the electric utility. You're, you're, we're almost, you're if you're doing something like well, that, you're, no. you're, we're almost <coughs> having to go back and redo the entire budget that they've been working on. For well, I don't even problem. know that we could make it. But I just know that <laughs> it's, a, it's a legacy. It's a legacy I, I don't understand. Item. I don't understand that one. Well, actually, the McPherson BPU told you they transfer $1.6 million every year or so. And so when it came up to 1.7, I wasn't all that concerned. I thought that came out just pretty darn close. Yeah, we're, we are close. But I do, uh, listen, I'm not, I'm not going to, I, mm -hmm. I wouldn't have it. But I do understand what Larry's saying because, I mean, I think his point is, okay, if we decided not to do that, and I'm not suggesting we do that right now, but I do think it's worthy of a conversation. If we decided not to do that, that money stays in the electric fund, so then you potentially not only do you have three million dollars in their reserves, you have the additional eight hundred thousand. Almost eight hundred thousand. Yeah. So then you. Well, then you lower rates. Cash rates, right? And now that all three utilities are together and we're projecting a twelve percent increase. Okay. Well, then you lower the other rates. Well, you don't know, you or you offset it by lower electric. But the the thing is, I understand the point of it, but I'm not sure that. 
I think Chris made a change in that eight hundred thousand dollars out of this right. budget is impacting. I think Chris right. made a very good point. We're about to take on new leadership in that position mm -hmm. uh, under a new board that's going to be a complete reorganization of the way that's operated. Mm -hmm. And the two thousand, I wouldn't expect. Actually, I'd be rather disappointed if we see the same sort of configuration I wouldn't, in the two thousand sixteen budget because it's going to. I, would I wouldn't touch the electric fund transfer until we know exactly yeah. what's going to happen there. Sure. Right. Uh, and, 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 and start and start next year. If we, if we see, if we see uh, again, if I'm, I'm looking at this as a, as a wait and see exercise from the standpoint of utilities because you're right. Things are going to completely change in the next six to 12 months there. So, you know, once we have some stability, we can start to, to do some measurements and figure out exactly what we can, what we can do with regard to the transfer. Not even You're stability, but direction. Right I, now we just had to get through between this gap. There has, there is not a direction. But, but you know what it's going to be, but not the way it's going to be implemented. But I, I, I know that they were talking about lowering electric rates going into this year. Well, but but here's the thing. You look at any of these funds available numbers, or I'm sorry, would it, would it be um, reserve <coughs> funds perhaps? And they're in the hundreds of thousands for the other three utilities. Or two utilities, I guess. Electric's different from water and wastewater. Well, it doesn't matter. Three million dollars is a lot of money big that's been banked over the years. Yeah. yeah. Well, and, and when we've got new leadership, then maybe we'll be able to reevaluate. So, so I don't we know how to analyze. We don't have to wait for new leadership to lower, or you know. I, I, actually, I, I think you're the only person that's that's yeah. saying we do it. We're getting right. well, I mean, part of part of the, the only part of the budget is is the utility rates. I know. So We're now's only. a good time to lower them if we have three million dollars of citizen money sitting in the in the treasury. So I don't we see can lower that at any point, right? You can change mm -hmm. rates at any time. Oh, the mills are a different discussion. Yeah, the mill is really what we're, again, it comes you back to. You shut your mill annually unless you want to go through the process to republish and have a public hearing and go through all that again. You have to go through the statutory process every time you want to amend your budget. And, you know, at, at, at some point, I, I kind of want to try and, and bring it back. We were talking about we were talking about budget initiatives, uh -huh. and then all of a sudden we got off to a, a yeah, utility so transfers and yeah. and let's, well, even though even though they do rate studies before they they lower any or or raise any electric rates, Larry wants to just lower rates right now, uh, and, and and that's it is budgeted to have a four and eight percent increase. So, as we all just understood. discussed, if you if you leave the fluff in there, it's going to get spent. Duly noted. Uh, but uh, we were talking about budget initiatives. Well, that is a budget initiative. Well, it's in the budget book. We were talking about budget initiatives that we identified as a governing body in previous budget meetings. Okay, right. And I was I was about and, halfway and way down my list. And so the next thing was incentive strategy. Again, we haven't had when was the last time we had somebody come in and ask for an incentive? Other than the uh, Zimmer property at hundred and eighty third and and uh, Waverly Road. Do you remember what the uh, and also the Nottingham what the discussion with the uh, the apartment complex and the but that was for for you state. state. That's uh, state. Yes. They asked for our support. But how much money to write? How much yeah. money yeah. are we wanting for that? I don't know that they were asking money. No, they, they weren't asking. They just asked us to approve their state um, petition. For, petition. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I guess I come back to why do we need an incentive strategy at this point? We've had years of no one coming to us and saying, this is what I want. And I think we're, we're smart enough, and we've, I've pr we've proven that we're smart enough on the Zimmer property not to take their, their offer. And look what they're doing now. I the do. property's not for sale, it's for lease. So it kind of tells you that they were maybe really not expecting us to take our offer, but still, we, we put it out there, and it could have easily gone the other way. So I, I know, but we're not, go we're not attacking this in any kind of, of, of orderly manner. Yeah, I, I mean, we, we go first. These are all the economic development things. And you said okay. Well, and I, I, <laughs> I said okay, and then you got off a little bit, and I was saying let's let's talk about the all individual right, ones. Let's look at some low hanging fruit, guys. C can I ask a quick question? First? Sure. Quick question. Yeah, sure. Could we, Laura? Uh, let me answer me this. If we said we want our fund balance to go to twenty percent consistently every year. 20%, all right? Mm -hmm. And whatever that difference was, whatever we had basically left as a result of that, we could fund projects in 2015. Mm -hmm. We have a list of projects that I think 
we may not agree on the priority or the importance or whatever, but we, we have this list of projects, we know estimated cost. Could we potentially work down through those projects based on that direction and 